Welcome to Let's Black Recap. This is the show where I look at your comments from the past week and react to. Like in my previous recaps, I usually have a plant on this table and this time, these are outgoing plants. These are a bunch of Echeveria and Ricotta. I have them here drying out because I pulled them up from the ground earlier today and I'm hoping to be able to ship them on Monday. So yes, additional funding for my next project. Which is of course, if you've been following the series, is the raised planter at the back. This is not a lot, but every little bit helps. Speaking of help, someone sent me a contribution. I won't say your name, but you know who you are. I am so deeply grateful for it because every bit helps. Especially since I'm doing this mainly out of pocket. Anyway, on to the comments. There's a couple of videos to look at and I'd like to start this by looking at the previous recap. There's an interesting comment here from Zanizana66 saying, I agree with you, Denise. Your videos have lots of variety of style, humor, information, and I look forward to them every week. It's obvious that I enjoy both gardening and the process of filming and editing the videos. Maybe you will be the Molly Meldrum of succulents. Do yourself a favor. Have you been in Australia long enough to know who I'm referring to? Unfortunately, not long enough, but right after reading your comment, I had to search him up, look him up on Google, and wow, that man is such a character. I love how he is an institution and he has, and how he has this great relationship with various artists. So, yeah. I think I see what you mean. Now it's time to have a look at the comments of the recent episode, which is episode 78. This is how I plan out my landscapes. First is from Tomas Mones Cazon. Infinity Stones. LOL. Dude, this is an awesome project. Can't wait. Same here, man. In fact, I'm not sure I can sleep tonight because I'm so excited to work on it. I haven't worked on my finalized sketches yet and I'm hoping to finish them tomorrow because I intend to do a, a lot, not just a bit, a lot of cleanup at the back, remove all of the plants. That way I could have a better um, a better view, a better take better measurements because the materials, the costs add up. So I have to be absolutely sure how much I would need. I'll be more precise with my measurements tomorrow. From the Dabros one, so much planning Chuck, but I'm sure you'll come up with a fab design, especially with Zach to help you. <laughs> yeah, I could really use the help tomorrow. Interesting video. Zach is so cute. You know these days, Zach likes pretending more and more. I think it comes with the age because he's 3 years old now. And you know that can only be fun. From Aneta S. Wanna see more? Can't wait for a new episode. Nice gloves. Ah, wait, wait, it's outside but yeah. I would need it because all my previous ones are worn out as I've shown in the video. So yeah, I could really use it. From Ben Artist, our majority of your plants bought or grown through offsets or cuttings. I am curious because I've been growing succulents in the backyard for about a year now and noticed that most succulents that I've grown from cuttings have unfortunately burned through our harsh summers. Hard to tell now because when I started off, because when I started obviously I had to buy plants and whenever I buy plants I make sure that I don't have duplicates because I started out as a collector before I delved into landscaping. So as a collector, you would not want to have too much of the same thing, especially if you have a limited budget. So I would say that during the first, first few days, first few months, it was like that. Majority of my plants are bought. Then I started, I started playing around with propagation and buying cuttings, because that's way cheaper than buying single plants, you know? And through the years, I've been doing some plant swaps, selling off some of my propagations, then buying new plants. So I would say that maybe it's half-half because -half, I have a lot of propagations up there. But I also do buy a lot of plants, especially when I'm landscaping. No, I think it's not fair to say half-half. Maybe one-third are plants that I bought. and. Two thirds are propagations because they are growing crazy here in my climate, especially when I plant them in the ground. So, mm. 
about the harsh summers, what I do is to protect them, give them a bit of protection, and I achieve that using shade cloth. I get a 30% shade cloth from Bunnings because that gives good enough coverage and and it doesn't block out too much of the sunlight, the UV. So the plants get enough shade to keep them from burning, but at the same time, they have enough light to prevent themselves from stretching out, getting leggy or teolating. From Patty Gugenmos, the cost of the metal joiners is really high. Why not use deck screws to join ends and smaller flat wooden slats on the backside with screws? Ha! Just a rancher in me thinking, it's not a feed bunk. I think the metal might clash with all of the natural textures. Go for it, Chuck. Yep, at the very least, I'm going to create a tall planter, the tall bed, using this system because something that high, I'm thinking I should not jury rig. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same with the smaller, with smaller beds. But again, it depends on the final design that I'm going for. In terms of the look, I've seen how they look like and I think they would still work in my existing landscape so I don't think there's going to be a clash of theme or layout or design, but we'll see. I'm definitely going for it. From Blissful Box, interesting, all the best Chuck, thank you so much. And I'm saving the best comment for last. I would call this the comment of the night. C-O-T-N. Cotin. <laughs> From Isa Zidlauska. Wow, Chuck, you are such a planner. I would say I'm a middle-of-the-road person. Sometimes I just wing it. That's really cool that you're getting that portion of your garden done. Yes. Uh, I wrote this in my reply to Isa, but... I would consider myself a winger. I do, especially in the previous episodes, I do a lot of things on the spot. You know, I think about it. I just have a very rough idea in my head. But this time, I had to do some planning and there are a few reasons for it. The first one is, this is expensive. So I would want to optimize to be very efficient with my spending on this one. The second reason would be I only work on this during the weekends, so it's not like I can do some impulse landscaping or gardening right now, especially since it's still winter here and it's too dark by the time I get home from work. So at least this weekly vlog is helping keep the pace. And before I end this recap, there's this another idea I had in the, on the back burner for a while now, and I mentioned this in one of my previous Let's Plant videos. I'm not sure exactly when. But a few months back, I mentioned the concept of Seriscopedia. It's basically a reference or a series of videos about teaching or sharing what I learned, sharing what I know. And of course, you can tell by the name Seriscopedia or Seriscopades Encyclopedia. Man, I suck with names. I've been delaying and pushing it back for quite a while now, mainly because I'm still struggling on a format that I would like. Because I'm so used to doing this vlog style, vlog format for the Let's Plant that I need lots of practice with my, with my editing, keeping things distilled, keeping things simple. And, and as you know, I've been working on this short form videos for the past few weeks, like the comparison videos. It's a good practice for me with the short form. And I think I'm getting close to the point where I'm confident about my short form videos that I could start working my Seriscapedia videos pretty soon. So if not next month, expect it sometime in September. I just need the time to film. <laughs> Thank you for watching yet another recap episode and if you want to know more or learn what I want to do next then please consider subscribing to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell that way you won't miss out on future episodes. I release a Let's Plant episode every Tuesday morning my time 
that would be Monday night on the, on the other side of the road, East Coast USA. And I do a recap every Saturday night my time, which should be Saturday morning on the East Coast USA. And sometimes during the week, I put out short form videos, so watch out for that. Apart from this channel, you could also check me out on Instagram, that's Sariska Page, and I post a photo of Echeveria with trivia every single day under the hashtag Daily Echeveria. If you're in Australia and you're wondering if I have some excess plants for sale, you could drop me a message in the, down in the comments or you could go to my website at sariskapage.com, use a contact form. And alternatively, if you're on Facebook, you could directly contact me on the Seriska Page page. That's facebook.com slash page. And we'll see. I might have something for you. Right now, I don't have a lot because it's winter and things are not growing so fast. But rest assured, sometime late spring, I think I would have a lot. Alright, that was a lot. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.